Hi again, Micro Hunter here. Today I'm going to show you how to stain starch grains um, of potatoes and of a banana using iodine. <laughs> yes, this is a banana. It's very ripe. Um, it doesn't matter if it's all black. Um, bananas contain starch grains. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use an iodine solution that I bought. Um, and I would like uh, to show you how the starch grains, how they turn black when you add iodine to them. Um, and we're going to be observing this process directly under the microscope. So I'm going to show you now an iodine test. Here is uh, some diluted iodine solution. A toast bread contains a lot of starch and uh, then you see a significant change in color when you contact, when the starch gets in contact uh, with the iodine. It's a black blue color. It's a very well known uh, reaction and we'll be using this also to look at starch grains under the microscope. So I'm going to take a little piece of banana here. It's very soft because the banana is already very ripe. And uh, I'm going to put a cover glass on top uh, and uh, then let's uh, press everything uh, together um, and squeeze it a little bit. Uh, so we have a thin layer of cells here. Iodine um, on top, uh, it, uh, the capillary action will uh, move the iodine beneath uh, the cover glass and it's going to start staining it. Um, when you put it directly on it, it will not immediately stain very black, but you have to look very carefully and you can see small uh, dots. Uh, and these are the starch grains. Um, under my stereo microscope, uh, you can actually see those uh, black dots uh, much uh, better. Um, yeah, so I'm now. Uh, Moving in a little bit here, zooming in a little bit, and here they are, these uh, starch grains. Um, and uh, we'll be looking at uh, these also under my compound microscope, and here they are. Um, under the compound microscope, uh, and uh, from the bottom, you can already see that those starch grains are much darker. And here, yeah, that's how they actually stain black. And here as well, it's a time lapse, 10 times uh, speed. And as the iodine solution diffuses across the slide, those starch grains start uh, to turn black. It's very nice uh, to see this actually happening here in time lapse. Yeah, and then only a, a few minutes later, this is when you also start to see the actual iodine, the orange iodine coming uh, from the side as well. Here again. Yeah. So that is uh, basically a very nice uh, little um, easy experiment uh, to do um, and uh, here this is how the iodine solution in the banana looks uh, like uh, and uh, some parts are still white because the iodine was not able to reach uh, those parts um, of the banana and uh, yeah, when we move around we can also see different cell types here but uh, inside uh, some of the cells uh, you will actually see those uh, black uh, starch grains and uh, this is uh, possible because uh, the iodine will actually stain them um, quite well even before you actually see the orange iodine. Yeah, focusing uh, back and forth a little bit and uh, the contrast of course is uh, very strong here. Um, do not uh, use uh, too concentrated iodine solution. Let's try now the potatoes. I think those starch grains look uh, even nicer here. Again, a little test. Uh, and it does stain much uh, darker, much quicker. So evidently the concentration of these uh, potato starch grains is much higher. Again, under my stereo mi microscope here. And uh, yes, here we are again. Here we see those uh, small little dots. And uh, we'll also look um, at this now using uh, my compound uh, microscope. So, yeah, so I simply scratched off uh, some of the potato here and uh, placed it on the slide with a little bit of water. Cover glass goes on top and then the same procedure. Um, I added a little bit of iodine on the side and then allowed the iodine to diffuse. And uh, you want to look at the part uh, where the iodine is uh, still um, yeah, quite dilute. And here we can see it again. Look how nice uh, the starch grains are stained from the right to the left. Again, this is a little bit of time lapse. Um, if you want to speed it up in real life, then you simply have to um, add a slightly higher iodine concentration and then you can see this also much faster. Here at a slightly higher magnification and yet again, starch grains staining dark purple, dark blue and even all the way up to black. I think it's uh, quite nice. And if you look very carefully, you can see that uh, there are certain layers. Those starch grains are layered. Now, this is our fuel, okay? So uh, pretty much uh, all cultures in the world, uh, for them, uh, starch is the main energy source. So that is basically the thing that we humans live off. Yeah, and now I'm not going to do a time lapse. I'm simply going to scan the slide here. And uh, you can see how, as we move into the iodine solution here, the starch grains start uh, to stain black. Yeah, so it's a quite a nice and uh, easy but also very impressive way. I want to thank all of my patrons and GoFundMe supporters, of course. Um, there is, are a lot of descriptions 
there are a lot of links in the description. That's what I wanted to say. Please have a look. So that's it again, folks. I hope you liked it. Uh, please do consider subscribing and uh, liking uh, this video. And uh, I do have also an affiliate web shop uh, to check it out, please. Um, the link is below. And uh, of course, there are a whole bunch of other microscopy related uh, projects that I have. Uh, please uh, do check them out um, as well. And of course, I want to say a big thank you to all of my supporters. Um, yes, thank you very much and uh, happy micro hunting. See you around next time. Bye bye.